Hi there guys and welcome to my channel. I hope you are all doing very well indeed. Um, so I'm going to talk about some products today and I'm going to be testing them out. Uh, but I was on Boots website the other day looking around thinking I want a treat. But I didn't know what I wanted a treat of. <laughs> Has anybody else ever felt like that? You, you you know you want to treat yourself to something, but you have no idea what the hell you want. <laughs> um, but yeah, these caught my eye. Um, so on Boots, it was three for the price of two. So when it comes to the Mark Hill Pick and Mix set, there's a choice of two handles. Uh, I got this handle because it bends. Uh, and I thought when I get a good day or a bad day or whatever, it, it's it hopefully going to help when my arthritis is playing up. Um, the second thing I chose was the, what was that? The Mermaid Waver. I'm not going to tell you what the third thing is because I'm going to do a separate video on the, on that one. Um, but yeah, these are the ones that caught my eye. So we're going to give these a little test drive and see how we do. So if you have not already, if you can just hit that subscribe button right there, would be absolutely fantastic. Um, smash that thumbs up button if you like the video and yeah, make sure you click on that notification bell. It will just let you know whenever I upload a video. Um, but let's get to it. Right, and on the handle box, it just says twistable handle can be used with or pick and mix barrels like a regular curling wand or bend at a 90 degree angle, making it easier to curl your hair uh, in those hard to reach places. Fantastic. And then on the side, it just says, it, well, it shows you there, you've got the choice of the two handles. I went for this one. And then them are the attachments that you can pick. Um, it says, our blogger babes just love the different curls they created with this interchangeable pick and mix range. Simply twist the handle at the neck to rotate the barrel to a 90 degree angle. Um, click your chosen barrel into the handle and use as you would normally. Hmm. Right, so opening up the handle. I'm really liking the packaging. It's awesome. <laughs> okay, um, so with the handle, you get these. Um, that is very weird. I can't put them on. So instead of a heat protecting glove, it just protects some of your hand. Oh, that feels weird. Oh, I don't like that. Very weird. <laughs> and here is the handle. Right, them colours are absolutely fab. I like it how it's got a swivel cord. That's perfect. And there is the wire and the plug, very long wire as well, which is also handy. And by the looks of it, it's just got the one heat setting, which is there, which is fine by me. It's less to worry about. And then, yeah, this part of it bends down. So, ooh, yeah, that bends like that. That is weird. Oh my goodness. But the handle itself, it's very, very light, very light, which is great. Ooh, really excited to use it. And then here is the mermaid waver. Take sections of hair, no wider than the length of the barrel. Start from the root, clamp the hair and hold for a few seconds until the hair has the wave desired. Uh, continue this process down the length of your hair and then repeat on a different section of hair. So yeah, quite straightforward. Ooh. Right, so that bit is actually quite heavy. Well, not heavy, heavy, but compared to that it is. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> mm, very interesting indeed. All right, so yeah, you just pop that in there. It locks itself and then when you want to get it out just press that button she says <laughs> and there you go that is out right and there it is in full well it's all together it's actually quite long <laughs> right let's prep my hair 
Right, so I'm just going to pop some heat protectant on my hair. This is the Tresemme one. Um, I will link it down below if anybody is interested. And then the Mermaid Waver just says, um, a unique three prong barrel uh, for use with the pick and mix wand handle. It creates quick and easy waves, reaches up to 180 degrees Celsius. Um, Right, so I'm just about to turn her on. Um, I haven't got a timer today, so I can't time how fast it takes to heat up to the temperature required. Um, I mean, there's only one heat set in. What I will do, obviously I'm going to record it. When that light comes on, apparently that's when it's done. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll write how long it takes here. Uh, I'll watch the recording back and I'll, <laughs> I'll time it that way. But let's do it, so... There you go, you can see that light. I mean, it is on, so is, does it go off or on? I should really read the instructions, but you know, always seems longer when you're just sitting here waiting for it to happen. <laughs> oh yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, that's well up now. Is that light gonna change when it's ready or what? Maybe I should have read instructions. I'm terrible, I never read instructions. Okay, nothing is really happening with that light, is it? Okay, it doesn't say. I think it's done because it's scalded or not. Let's just get on with it. <laughs> right, so I've just halved that bit there like that. And then I'm going to split this into two. It's going to be weird trying to get that bit, isn't it? Hmm. What way? I don't know which way to do it. Do it that way? No, I'm going to try that way. <laughs> oh my god! I love it, I love it. It's hard to know like how long to keep it on for, but as I say, it's really hot, so I'm just leaving it on for a few seconds. Did it come out all right? I think so. <laughs> and just a little reminder as well, guys, I am totally new at doing this kind of stuff with my hair, so... <laughs> You'll have to bear with me because I'm rubbish. So what way did I have that? I wanted it like that, didn't I? So it's going to have to be like that. See, this is so weird. If anything goes wrong with this, like if I burn all my hair off, I've got nobody to blame but myself because it's all down to me. Right, and I've just got one of these clips so I can clip that hair back and then let the next section down. Ooh! You know the sad thing as well? I'm not even going anywhere today. I'm going to walk the dog in an hour. section done so I'm just going to pin that back let the next section down and I've got some serious volume going on oh my god this is amazing 
Guys, I have to admit, I'm loving it so far. So that's all the sections done. That's my whole head done, basically. I'm just going to run my finger through. Right, I'm just going to add some product to my hair now. So I've got Phil Smith Be Gorgeous Curly Locks Curl Perfecting Spray. So let's just put some of that in. Right guys, so this is the finished look, all done. Uh, I absolutely love it and I will definitely be using that again and again and again. The only thing I don't like is that bit there. It's really, really flat. Compared to how voluminous the rest of my hair is and that bit's like... <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is try changing my part in and see if that will help. Right, now that's the finished look. That looks so much better now I've done my part in. Um, so the next time I do this, if I want to have a middle part in, I'll probably, I don't know, I'll probably wave it with a side part in and then put it in my middle part in afterwards, probably. Um, but I actually like that. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. I can't believe how much volume I've got in my hair. Really, really happy with that. This is the back of it. But yeah, I am over the moon. Wow. And I was actually pretty scared because it's not like my automated curler that I have where you just put the curl in it, it does it for you basically. And if your hair burns, which it hasn't, but if it does, like, well, it's not my fault, it's that fault, not mine. Whereas this, this is all on the person who's using it. And I've still got all my hair. <laughs> but no, I am absolutely loving that. Um, so yeah, if you have not already, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell um, because I have another attachment for this that I'm going to be using. Um, so hit that notification bell and keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I think I'm going to buy a few more attachments as well and have a play. Um, but yeah, until the next time. Bye.